Hey guys, welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So what we got to today is it's kind of a recap of an event that happened on Saturday. So uh, we called it Scrape Fest, and um, some some local guys that are interested in scraping, um, we kind of kind of formed a little I don't know a little group or something I don't know uh, some guys that are interested in scraping. And uh, so I invited them out to the shop, and uh, so we had a day of scraping on Saturday, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, now, I shot some video, uh, although it's not uh, extensive video and how-to video of scraping. It's just kind of uh, um, some of the projects that guys were working on and, um, um, and their progress on those projects. So uh, now, these guys are pretty shy, so uh, they kind of wanted to keep their faces off camera and stuff like that, so I respect that, but uh, I do have some clips that I can show, and then in the end, I have a, a kind of a group picture that I'll share with you guys. Um, my project was the, uh, the Pratt & Whitney level, and um, I did some scraping on that, and it actually came out really good, but uh, I'm gonna redo it, and, um, uh, and I'll show you why. Um, I've been thinking about it after the fact, and, um, but I'll show you the whole thing. Um, uh, we'll get it up on the surface plate and uh, run the indicator over it and, uh, and check it out. So uh, anyway, so this is a bunch of clips that I'm just going to stick together that uh, uh, are this event, uh, this Scrape Fest event. So uh, let's go check it out. I see you brought all your rust with you. Yeah. <laughs> It's precious. Hey, Sorry to see it go. Now, is that like an Enco plate or something like that, or uh, is it a? Know. It's been laying around for years. I'm not sure who made it. Yeah, That's it's got that uh, that kind of old Enco uh, weird color paint on it. So. Is that what that is? Well, I don't know. It's uh, it doesn't look like a uh, like an old brown and sharp or anything like that, no, right? They you know? it, yeah, they would have tagged it. Yeah, they would have exactly. They would have tagged it. So. Uh, So is, is this, uh, are you making a standard for uh, scraping dovetails? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, this is, uh, I got an antique flather lathe. Uh, oh, okay. Pre-1900. And uh, we're going to hand scrape this so we can do the dovetails and uh, okay. the uh, uh, saddle on that. Now, did you make this whole thing? No. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, a guy that took uh, Richard's class with me in 2013, uh, John York, uh, he had the blanks. Oh, and, okay. Uh, he said, you're welcome to it, you know, 50 huh. bucks. Oh, done. Boom. <laughs> so, right on. Oh, okay, cool. So I've been working on this more or less for about two weeks off and on, trying to do it all by hand. Yeah. Just yeah. To make my uh, skills a little well, bit better. We, we haven't committed uh, uh, fully yet until you uh, get the power one. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I have one of those too, but th this is, I'm trying to uh, reinvoke an old spirit. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, good deal. <laughs> Good deal. See how the old guys used to do this. Now, do you know what brand? Uh, um, it doesn't have a brand on it. It doesn't? Oh, okay. But it is cast iron, though, huh? It's not it's, steel? I think it's, I think it's steel. Yeah. Is it scraping like it's hard, or what? It, it's scraping like it's, it's hard, but it's, it is scraping. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like you're getting a cut on it, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, what? what's this stone here? This is just a ceramic stone. Oh, all right. Let's saw the little cutouts in there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're still roughing, right? Yeah. Oh, you turned it though, huh? Yeah. I'll probably do it one more time so you can still see the milk. Oh, the yeah. other mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There you go. So I'll turn it 90 degrees and go the other way. I'll turn around to do the corners. Okay. This is the little Pratt & Whitney here that... Uh, I just cleaned all the weasel snot off of the bottom. I'm ready to. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Weasel snot is not a person, it's a thing, right? <laughs> hey, I gotta say that uh, uh, package you sent to A Bomb was the best. Man. <laughs> you like that, huh? Video, man. <laughs> His wife's reaction was priceless. Yeah, he looked like he was in trouble after that. <laughs> so
out again. What did you forget? Got stoned. Oh. I uh, I was the first example in the class. I, I had pretty, you know, I thought it was a pretty decent scraping the time before. And then I took it over and re-blued it. And, uh, you know, it had like three little blue points on it. And Richard jumped all over that. Everybody come over here. This is a classic mistake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, everybody in the class. Oh, remember that guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy didn't know how to stone. Yeah. Anybody sees any stuff that I'm doing wrong, and I'm sure I am. Make sure and tell me. That's right. We're <laughs> too busy doing it wrong ourselves. So. <laughs> the blind leading the blind with donuts. <laughs> So I'm doing this little spin test, right? Okay. It looks like it's right about there. Yeah. And then grab it from the other end. Yeah, Those so are that's pretty good. good. Yeah. Should be thirty percent in from each end of like the line. About, yeah. So it's like that looks like it's hooking on the end there. Yeah. You're and supposed to do it on on the blued surface because it gives you some lubrication. Really? Yeah. It seems like that would interfere with the... No, uh, it helps us. Really? Yeah. I was just doing it on a dry plate for the final yeah, this, section. Yeah, this is but, this is dry and... Uh, because it, uh, it just allows it to... You feel all right? I had a glove on when I wiped over it. That seems okay. And then, yeah. And then just give it a little swipe. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's this high on that end. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what it reads when I. Uh... Oh yeah, it's polishing it there. So. Yeah. Looks good on the line. Yeah. Well, All right. Well. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very far off. <laughs> Suck fast, huh? Yes, there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm finding the hunt. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks better than it is. It looks okay. It's kind of like it's supposed to look. It's kind of like it's supposed to. Look? Yeah. It's supposed to have kind of a little. <laughs> oh, a little. Even with space tooth marks. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of chips, man. Yeah. Boy, I bet you the, the guys that scrape professionally went home with all these little barbs in their clothes, right? Yeah. All these little cast iron chips. Constant. Uh... Getting all the little blue points here. Mm -hmm. We're almost flat. I could probably do a lot heavier scraping in the mm -hmm. middle of this thing, but it's okay. Slow works. It well, just, just takes longer. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like not a very good hand scraper, so oh. I'm trying to build up. Oh, those you didn't skills. bring your, you didn't bring your. I brought the biax too. Oh, okay. I just uh, trying to do this on natural, oh, and see, you know, right. it, it serves no purpose other than to give me skill. You yeah. know. Cool. Oh, oh is it rattling? Oh. Your plate's not flat. Yeah, the future. Four of them. I'm not co-planing it either. That is a table for it. I'm surprised it has four uh, four pads on yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. 
usually three. Yeah. Yep. So that line is your, your last pass direction? Well, I put down my next pass. So oh. I'm going to go this way. This oh, time. so you're a next pass guy yeah. instead of next a last pass. Yeah. You're just thinking about the future, yeah, right? Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> an optimist. An ob the glass half full, yeah. half empty thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Undoubtedly, be better than last. No, that's... Uh, now you got the pattern going and all that. It looks great, man. Yeah, so. Well, it's getting. This is actually somewhat encouraging. Though I still, I'm still weak at doing the edges. The edges. Well, with the power one, man, you got to, you yeah. know, you got to be really careful coming up to those edges because if it snags, it just bites and shoves you back, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, it'll. Yeah. It, if you get over halfway, it'll roll over, yeah. and you, you, you really. Do. What's really bad though is when you're coming back, which I do. Well, that you come forward and hit the edge. The autometric plate has got a bunch of holes in it, man. And I'll tell you, getting around those holes, it's like, oh, this is a learning experience. So, yeah. <laughs> That's hard reading. Now, are you are you doing both uh, faces at the same time against that? I'm not. The no, angle I'm, plate? I, oh, okay. I did put it uh, against the angle block uh -huh. just to kind of make just sure where it is, but it's very close. So, oh, it is. So oh, I don't okay. have to really mess with it. I do the big face. And then I'll uh, flip it over and do the other. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Cool. That. Spots. <laughs> oh, that's it's one big spot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but there's a there's a hard uh, touch down there, huh? Yeah. That corner. Uh -huh. All right. Well. That's where you get the silver. Is where it's yeah polished off on the top. Cool. I'm starting to come down now. Yeah. Is the. Uh, but it's pretty some, good. I wanted some practice. No, you got it. That uh, gives you plenty of area to, uh, yeah, to I done this in work, that, years. work that muscle memory. Yeah, yeah that looks well, pretty I good. More alive yet. <laughs> <laughs> cool, very cool. And spray paint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, yeah, you made some progress on that. Yeah. Cool. I'll give you a couple of lines. Now, is the uh, is the angle done on this one or what? Or, uh, no, I just okay. I did an initial scrape on oh, okay, it yeah. just to see where it was and mm -hmm. it's out. <laughs> okay. It was done yeah. on a, um, a shaper though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is pretty uh, neat. Cool. Uh, All right. What was really cool was guy had a foot. Oh, yeah, that foot came out nice. And, uh, and uh, he was showing, and I mean, quarter inch just. Man, all those holes. Those holes are a pain, huh? They are. Because you got, are you, you're chasing around them, right? Oh, you didn't do anything on that side, yeah. 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 Right on. Excellent. Cool deal. Okay. So here's the, uh, here's the level, and this is the surface I scraped here. And I mentioned earlier that, uh, and you saw some of the clips of me scraping on this thing here. Um, so this was very heavily corroded on the bottom and I think I showed this in a, in a much earlier meatloaf episode and my my current belief is I really need to to take some more material down and one of the issues that uh, was happening was uh, the material that I was scraping off was kind of um, uh, I want to I want to call it crumbly okay and I can still see um, and I don't know how well this is showing in the camera. This is actually really hard to shoot because I've got a reflection coming in the window here and then this is this surface here is a little hard to shoot here. But there's still some spots here and I'll change the camera angle so you can see it. And I believe that this is corro remaining corrosion that I didn't quite dig out all the way. So what I really need to do is uh, uh, probably set this up in the mill and, and take about three thousandths off of it, something like that, and get down to clean metal and then scrape it as opposed to trying to scrape down to that level. So, uh, um, although it's kind of interesting because uh, it came out actually re uh, really flat here. Um, and what I've done, just so you guys know, is it's sitting on three points underneath here, and I have three screws that are in there, and then I adjusted the screws. Let me set it back down here. I adjusted the screws. I'll get right over the screws so that uh, it's flat in this direction. And I hope you can see the indicator. All right. So that it's that it's flat across here, or as flat as you know. I kind of average the reading. Okay. Now, if we shoot down here. You can see it's bouncing around a few tenths, half thousands, half thousands, half thousands, uh, a few tenths. And then if I fish around, 
and find one of these little corrosion spots here, and I think there's one right there. It's about one and a half thou. So it's one and a half thou low in that in one of those corrosion pits. So that's why I'm I'm thinking I really need to deck this off and um, um, get it down a little bit uh, to uh, get a really nice clean material finish on there. But you know, just a uh, you know a few hours of scraping and messing around. You know, end to end, we're not even a thou end to end, okay? I mean, you can find some little local divots, you know, like if you drive into one of those little corrosion spots, it'll jump up near a thou, something like that. But the average surface is um, well, well within a thousand, it's more like a half a thou, something like that over the length of the thing. So uh, pretty happy with those results. Uh, although I'll be doing it again because I had so much fun. So uh, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to I'll fly cut this or uh, machine this flat uh, in the mill. You know, I'll dial it in in the mill and then uh, dust this off, take about three thousandths off, something like that. And then, or until I don't see any of these black pits. And then rescrape it and uh, show that a little bit better on camera since I got all the... Uh, Got all the uh, angles worked out on that now. So let's uh, see if I can get in a little closer maybe and uh, give you a better shot. Okay, so there's, there you can kind of see it. Yeah, I guess you can see that indicator. And this is a tense indicator here just to, just to remind you guys. All right, I don't know, three tenths or something like that. Okay, there's seven. But you bump next to it and then it jumps out of there. All right. Yeah, my, my zero. Oh. All right, well, all well under a thou in that area there. So you can drive around and find some some small local localized spots. Yeah, there, there's a thou right there. That little, see, look, and that maybe you can see that, but the tip of the indicator, there, that's a little dark corrosion spot. And when I drop into that, boop, the indicator, doing, um, goes diving away there. So really, I need to get away. I need to get those little dark spots out of there. But had fun, and uh, um, we scraped our brains out. So thanks for watching.